it poses a concern, and we need to be uh, vigilant right. about this because it is our only source here in the Right, and we'll obtain the information. Some of these research documents, we'd have to verify that they were, what the rates were used and everything that show these kind of health effects. And, and, it, and whether they will retain that long in the water body. I don't know the research on all that. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll look into what its half life is and everything. What is the legislat legislation that passed some time ago that you were referring to? You know, oh, we're, we're working on legislation now. We're working on it. Yeah. And what's the name of that legislation? I don't have the name of it right now. That's Bill, Bill Swan. Yeah, he's been working on that. At the meeting in Yuma, I discussed at length with the head pyologist in front of the, uh, in charge of the program. I had two gentlemen with me tonight that stood right there and heard him tell us that there had already been a prior spring on the Colorado River. That they did this in experimentation to see how the road known worked, and it did work. There is no way, sir, to answer your question that they contain it within these backwater areas that they're looking at, these 25 prime backwater areas. At my expense, I will take any of you out on the river. I'll show you exactly where we're talking about. I'll show you all 25 lakes, and I'll show you how it's an impossibility to contain that water. Now, the element that they use to neutralize will only work in a contained area. I want you to understand that because you have water inflow and you have water outflow. Now, I don't know all the ins and outs about agriculture, but I do know that because of the salmonella outbreaks and everything else, if the dog runs through a field right now down in Yuma, they have to report it. Now, I don't know what the ramifications are going to be if they have to re report that they're suddenly getting influx of rope known into their agricultural water. Now, drinking water, has it been introduced to drinking water? According to the gentleman that owns the company that makes the substance known, it has it. It's been done in contained areas. Um, and in areas pretty remote, like Montana, where they want to kill out a non-native uh, trout and introduce other native trout. It's never been done on such a grand level. I don't think we should experiment when you have a major community of Yuma, Arizona, three million other uh, Mexican folks that live just across the border from us, and also California draws water off of this. The Mexican uh, consulate has not been notified. They will be notified next week as to um, this present program and what they're uh, projecting to do. Um, also, the Indian Affairs uh, folks have not been notified of this. They've sat in on some meetings, but they don't know the, to the degree that they've been experimenting. So I ask you, uh, and I can prove this to any of you that want um, hard copy verification, because they gave it to us down at this meeting, so I can provide that for you. Uh, if you give me a telephone number and a fax number, I'll fax it over to you. Thank you. Uh, other questions? Uh, don't, sir, I need to ask you a question. What is your solution to the problem? The solution... No, your solution. My solution to the problem? We've already uh, spent hundreds of hours researching this. And we've taken a good hard look at alternate backwaters that are available to this program. Now these alternate backwaters are not navigable backwaters. Um, this issue came up in Louisiana. Two lawyers saw a lake that was posted uh, because of this multiple species conservation program in the EPA. They saw it posted and he said, wait a minute, why is this posted? He said, I think it has something to do with this Endangered Species Act that they uh, just recently passed. He said, do you see any fish and game folks around? He said, well, as a matter of fact, there's a boat right over there. He said, good, we're going in. Well, they went in, and the fish and game guys came in, and they said, hey, you're not supposed to be in here. He said, I know that. We came in here on purpose. He said, well, I'm telling you to leave. And he said, okay, I'll leave when you give me a ticket. So they ticketed the gentleman. He was a lawyer with deep pockets. He sued, to make a long story short. Uh, Louisiana got this shot down because you're not allowed to close navigable backwaters. And that's what they're proposing on this. Once these lakes are closed off, 
please understand, they're closed for 50 years. They will never be allowed to go in. And once they're closed, they're closed. So that's why we're so concerned. To answer your question, uh, this, my solution for this problem is to take the alternate backwaters that we've identified, build berms around these areas, go ahead and do what you have to do for this multiple species conservation program, and introduce the bony tails and the sticklebacks and see how they do. So far they haven't done well. And the reason they haven't done well is primarily because of the flathead catfish and the stripers. The voracious feeders, they get in and kill these poor guys out pretty quick. Um, my concern isn't so much from this as you have another really insidious thing that's coming your way in the form of snakeheads. That's a fish that came in from the East Coast, actually it came over from the Orient, and these things eat everything. They're presently in California waters. They're up in Northern California right now. They're trying to contain them, but they're not doing a good job. If these things get in the river, it's over. It's over for everything. So, I don't know. But so what's the cost of your alternative of building burns and et cetera to isolate? Well, here's our view. If you go in and take out this 360 acres of backwater, this is recreational water that half of San Diego comes down to play on every single weekend. And people from Imperial, California, that come in and play there. And people come up from Mexico to play there. People from all over the United States come down there in the wintertime. If you close off all this backwater, essentially you have a ribbon of, of river left, and that's it. What is going to be the economic impact of that? It's devastating. So the cost? The cost is devastating to go ahead and close these 360 acres of backwater. If you take the alternate backwater and you close them off, really in a lot of cases it only amounts to improving the water quality by letting some water in there for a short period of time and then having some over berm um, hoses, if you will, into the lake that can provide fresh water for these fish. It's not that difficult. In fact, in some cases it's a lot easier than trying to cordon off or section off or net off maybe a, a mile and a half of Thule area that's adjacent to the lake. Again, you really have to come down and see the lakes to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I've been back there and I was just saying. Okay. Any other questions? Well, I have a question for Mr. Remington. Okay. Uh, where does the funding come from for this? It's within the MSCP, 50% federal, 50% states. Right, but our, our share, where does our share come from? It's uh, internally, 50% water, 50% power. We, Jim, we, the, the old board, uh, prove this when Lloyd Island was still alive because it's all had to do with uh, QSA. And I think Bill Swan, anybody who got any questions, Bill Swan can answer them. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Yeah. You know, I would I, I would like to have some questions answered. Uh, I like to know what the risk and the liability is uh, for this procedure. I'm sure if the gentleman provided this information dealing with those other alternate sites, reclamation will look at it. Particularly with, with health and long-term commitments, and uh, I think uh, you know, along the lines of the water rights, you know, if, if we have to commit to long-term about if the environmental effects of this, what what effect will they have on our water entitlement? Opinion? I would recommend, Dr. Brady, that we sit up. We probably schedule a, a workshop and have. Mr. Swan here, sure. Mr. Remington, and, and okay. spent a couple of hours just the reasons why we got here, what, why we did, what we right. did, and why we're here, and what expect in the future. Right. I, I would like to state, the gentleman here, yeah. so I'd he like, can come yeah. on. I'd like to state that the backwater is just one portion of the MSCP, and Road Known itself, the, the issue of Road Known, is only a minor point with everything else on the river. If, if, if we find there are health concerns, then we probably will not use that.